Hi, my name is Mark Simmons. I'm with JNM PC Experts. I am going to teach you how to perform a complete professional tune-up. This is handy to do if you've just removed any major viruses because just removing a virus doesn't isn't going to help. You need to fix the damage that the virus caused, kind of like you wouldn't you know, if a tr truck hits your car, and even though that truck is removed, it doesn't fix the damage that's on your car. Uh, but also, if you haven't, if you're, if you haven't had a tune-up within a year, then you definitely want to do this. This is something you want to do at least once a year, and one of the programs you can run once a month, and it'll keep your computer running all the time. This is the same tune-up that we perform in our shop and we guarantee it for a year uh, now you know we have a warrant a guarantee that if I tune up your computer and it's it doesn't last the full year let's say in six months it slows down you give us a call we come out at no cost and retune it up and we've never had to do that that's how good these these tune-ups are attached with this video will be a link at the bottom for my manual it's a it's a guide um, that I'm creating as you can see right here and I'll have all the links that you need for the free programs and of course if you wanna buy the whole suite of the professional programs I have it as a bundle package and it will be at the bottom here but what you wanna do is you wanna download all these links the programs from these links and what I would do is I would create a new folder and label it um, you know tune up or tools whatever whatever you want and once you download them all inside this folder you can just install them one by one and with that you can move it over to a flash drive or a USB drive so you can do it on your other computers or you can even um, you know offer tune-ups and from this manual and make some money with it but by having that you'll have it for future reference even if you're not doing it to you know make it a little bit of extra money you're doing it only for your own computers it's a lot easier just to have it on a on a flash drive now in this tutorial I'm not going into detail with the security programs or any virus removal um, just to let you know so just follow through the rest of the uh, videos that are integ if you got here by the book the manual then just follow through the videos that are on the bottom uh, if you're on YouTube that's not gonna matter because all these videos are gonna be together by following this manual or these videos this is going to save you expensive repairs down the road um, because if you if you're performing this tune-up more than likely it's going to block out half of the viruses or at ad, adware malware uh, trojans uh, scareware ransomware it's going to block all that out but also by um, running this tune-up you're keeping your drivers up to date and it's it's easier on your hard drive, easier on your processor. Your you know a computer, a laptop that would normally last you three years will last you five, six, seven years. So be sure not to skip any steps. Um, follow the guide all the way through, and then just perform this once a year, and more than likely you'll stay out of a computer shop. Okay, now for the easy part. We are going to download all the links. Now, in my old manual, I had a lot more programs, but a lot of the ones you can actually get right inside of Advanced System Care. Um, so I made it a little bit easier. First, let's that's the most important one. Let's download that. CCleaner. SpyBot. Malware bytes.
and Avast. And there's a few more I might be adding, so you might see more links after I've created this video. And I didn't specify in the beginning of this part of the tutorial, but this video is going over the installs, the download and installs. Okay, so CCleaner's done. We can install that. Now, some of these programs I probably already have installed on this laptop. Install. Now, CCleaner, it doesn't have any junk attached to it, so I didn't have to choose custom. Um, but for you guys, anything you install, always choose custom and make sure you're not installing any junk. And you'll just want to go through, we don't want to view the release notes, we don't want to run CCleaner yet, we're going to hit finish, um, install fast, and then just go through each of these um, here. Okay, this is a prime example. I don't want Dropbox, so I'm going to uncheck that, but I'm going to choose custom installation. Uh, hit continue. Now, Avast doesn't install any other junk either, but I just wanted to go through this. If you need any other languages, check that. Um, some of these you can turn off. I don't suggest you turn any of those off. Hit continue. Continue. And continue. Now, I, my personal opinion, I've tested all the different security programs out there as far as antivirus. Um, Avast, Avira, AVG, Norton, McAfee, Trend Micro, all the other ones. And Avast is my favorite because it offers things that other programs do not offer. And it's more proactive than the rest of them. And this is a bold statement, but I usually tell people if you're not using Avast, then you're not really worried about the internet. You're not worried about security because... Um, Avast is going to block out 90% of what you're currently getting as far as security threats. And Avast has what's called a boot time scan. There was another program that had one, a boot time scan, but it wasn't very thorough. This one I like. It's very thorough and it's nice because a lot of threats will actually hide inside windows or behind windows so that your program while windows is on it can't detect it whereas the boot time scan takes a long time but what it does is your computer will start to boot up once you schedule a boot time scan your computer will start to boot up windows will just start to load and then a vast you know intercepts it and pauses windows loading and runs a scan And I'll just talk while we're running through these. Um, SpyBot is something that a lot of people don't like because SpyBot is annoying when it's installed. Um, but again, just like Avast, it's going to block stuff. Now, if you're, you're one of those people that you're more worried about convenience than security, then I would suggest what you do is you run through this tune-up. There's a certain thing that we're going to be doing with SpyBot, which is resetting your security on Windows to block out a lot of stuff and make Internet Explorer more secure so run through that process and if you know you you feel that it's just annoying you then what you can do is you can uninstall SpyBot but then every time you go to update Windows um, and the rest of us are running an immunization you would have to actually reinstall uh, SpyBot um, we don't you can enable the free trial um, actually you know what you should do that go ahead and leave that leave that checked and I'll show you why when we get into the videos of the programs and you see where it says spy got if you don't want conduit then I suggest you choose 
custom uncheck those we don't need all that junk and a lot of people they have all these toolbars I would suggest not to install any toolbars unless you know for sure that they're safe like the ask.com toolbar or the Yahoo toolbar I wouldn't install those and as you can see malware bytes is loading its updating but we're not doing that yet so we're just going to minimize it that's still installing Avast is still installing and Spybot still download now it may not take you that long to download these um, you know I'm running all these programs and plus my video recording and or screen recording and my internet here isn't that great I believe it's like 15 May right now just hit finish once advanced system care finishes you'll get this pop-up this web page that opens um, download driver booster 2 free you can ignore that and you'll see why in the next video just close that out and we're still waiting for spybot as you can see when Avast finishes it'll start a basic scan um, and it is just a basic scan um, but spybot finished I hit OK and you can register the Avast uh, for free just leave that the way it is I want more control except next leave all that the way it is leave all that and you can click on the get started um, and walk through the tutorial I'm going to skip it and we can register just select this for free you can register with Facebook or your email and this is just so you don't get that pop-up in 30 days um, no I don't want to try internet security for free and the reason I do that is because now I have the paid version I just don't have it on here the reason that I didn't want to try that is because you know you get used to having that protection and then you forget that you're not going to have it and it's just it's a mess we can close that out Uh, open start center start a system scan and configure I don't want to start a system scan now this is uh, advanced system care tutorial it's putting uninstaller 3 on there which is nice to have in case you um, well we'll save that for the next part of the video um, yeah we'll hit yes so that we get tips um, and this is a fresh and clean system so we're going to create a whitelist if you didn't just reinstall windows you don't want to create a whitelist that's basically um, a way of you saying that your system is completely safe it doesn't have junk on it okay we'll start off with advanced system care uh, the uninstaller 3 you want that see basically if you want to let's say you want to uninstall uh, 
you have Norton and you want to uninstall, and uninstall Norton or even AVG because that can be a pain to remove sometimes you'll use the uninstaller versus going in the control panel add and remove or programs and features because this is going to fully remove all files that are associated with it or let's say you have Google Chrome and it's infected and you can't fix it you just want to start over then you can use uninstaller to remove Chrome uh, home page protection that's so that nothing uh, removes your home page or you, you can go to settings and um, set that up to uh, security reinforce yes I want that okay internet chrome protection I want that on the home page you choose what you want it to be right now mine's just um, a blank page and search engines Google I don't have Firefox installed I do have Internet Explorer so we're going to hit apply because all those settings will be on Internet Explorer as well and then hit OK this way if Conduit tries to install itself or one of the other ones it can't it, it, you'll get a pop-up asking you if you want to allow the change or not really really nice um, we can leave that like it is next this all depends on your preference I I tried Metro for a little bit but I like I like the classic and then that'll take a few minutes to um, start up and what I really like about this program is down here you can see that it's not a smiley face but it's not a frown either it's in between and also it shows right there so it lets you know what condition your computer's in and then it lets you know your CPU usage scan has been completed and your RAM that was a vast saying it's completed and the first thing that you want to do is click on Action Center all these programs that you know in my old manual I had as separate links now it shows up under Action Center you get the malware fighter 2 the driver booster which is very important smart defrag which is much better than the Windows defrag and you can optimize your hard drive with that uh, because we're on Windows 8 it's offering us the start menu 8 which is I love it it's instead of hit and start and then you have all this junk um, you won't have that anymore. You'll it'll be just like Windows 7. Hit fix all, and that works with Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. And it'll start to download all those, and go over to Care, select all, and then hit Scan. And just I would check. Uh, you can leave all these settings the way they are. Automatic repair and this here I don't need that um, I can either um, show the full thing the CPU the disk the RAM the network um, that's really nice to have you can run a scan clean RAM shut down all that um, but really I don't need all that so we're gonna go to right click it go to settings load it Windows startup uncheck that right click exit um, because we don't need all that and really that's all you need um, from the advanced system care because it's going to go through all these things and it, because we had that checked it's going to automatically repair to where when it's done we'll click finish um, now keep in mind you know if your computer's slow this is going to take a long time but once you finish this and restart it your computer's going to be so much faster now we're going to go to SpyBot where we left off. It's still creating a white list. And these are the settings because I had checked that. Um, the settings showed up. And you know you can go into the settings. I'm not going to go over that. Um, I want advanced user mode. So I'm going to hit apply. Oh, this is another thing I like about Avast. Um, you know, you can click on that, show updates and it's going to show you what updates you need for your computer and 
the reason this is so handy is a lot of the average users are confused about what do I update, what don't I update, what's safe, what's not safe. This will not tell you to update something that's not safe. So you don't have to update anything besides Windows unless you see it here because it'll it'll tell you about the Flash, Java, Internet Explorer, any of it. Um, but for right now we're going to minimize that and apply an OK. That's still creating a white list so we can't do that yet. Um, this needs security updates signatures so we're going to hit update on that and uh, that's still loading we can tell you what let's do I don't want to run CCleaner why I the advanced system cares running um, so what we're going to do is we're going to run malware bytes and you can see Adobe Air needs updated flash Internet Explorer and I have WinRAR on here that needs um, updated now if you have the paid version of Avast you can activate the automatic updates and you never have to worry about this and I would just do one update at a time and as you can see it says downloading here now let's yeah see now that that's preparing these aren't highlighted okay so this is malware bytes um, with the paid version you have automatic scans um, and all that you can do fix now to run a scan or you can go to scan there's threat scan custom scan and hyper scan um, a hyper scan is just a fast scan and then if it finds something then you'll want to run the more detailed scan uh, you can go into the settings um, and change anything uh, like the update settings um, and it shows you that this is uh, database version we'll see if it needs an update it'll check for updates and update if it needs it um, you can hit fix now or you can just hit scan uh, to scan and that's pretty much it I'm not going to run a scan okay for those of you on Windows 8 if you get the start menu 8 you can choose your style I like Windows 7 um, classic let's minimize that for right now and we'll hit apply so that saves and then go to general settings run at windows startup I want to skip metro screen that's up to you or not and disable metro top left hot corner that would be this one um, deactivate metro sidebar and I believe that would be this one yeah um, but I, I want to leave that because sometimes I use that well, matter of fact I'll just check that so that you can see how you can make it just like Windows 7 um, deactivate hotkeys I don't want to do that left click to open Metro um, press Windows key to open Metro this way you can check that that way um, when you hit the Windows symbol on your keyboard it'll open Metro I believe and then here's your um, shortcut keys that you can set hit apply and then we'll go to the start button I like the classic but you can have whatever you want or you can get more um, hit apply menu and you can choose what shows up in the start menu um, you can change the picture or you can hide account picture and just other settings that you can you can set just to customize it to your liking
Okay, let's configure the smart defrag. Hit next. And I love this program. You can choose black or you can choose white. I like black. And like I said, with that you can optimize uh, optimize your hard drive, which makes a little bit of a difference. And then driver booster is another thing that popped up. Um, see, it shows you that my Belkin wireless um, needs an update. Very bad, extremely bad for the rest of these audio, um, the network card. And this is the malware fighter that also came with advanced system care. It's never been scanned or updated. Um, So you can, I would update that first and then run a scan. Um, I'm not really going to cover it a whole lot. Uh, a new version of Smart Defrag is available. We'll decide later, but you can download that. Um, just for that, you can hit Fix All and minimize it, um, and it'll fix those. It'll update it and run a scan. This, you can update all. Uh, don't remind me again that another one will pop up or so I thought maybe not and we can minimize that why that's working that's up to date we can close it and then just go through uh, in the video I'm not going to go over it all but you can update the rest that Avast found Internet Explorer, that will actually update with Windows um, Update if you, um, you know, if you don't have automatic updates on, you'll have to manually do that. But after that finishes, if you click Update on that, it's going to tell you about Windows, Windows Updates. Um, the Smart Defrag, you can see this is the main drive. Auto defrag is on and boot time defrag is on. A fast start it will be disabled after you turn. Now that's a matter of your preference. I like um, the fast startup, so I don't want to do that. But you can, and you can't um, defrag the Metro apps. But instead of just hitting defrag, we're going to hit analyze, and it's going to scan the hard drive and tell us if we need to run a defrag or not and what else is next we're still waiting on still waiting on that whitelist it's still in program files I have a lot on this hard drive so it's um, taking a while what else we can check this see it found 234 registry errors which seems a lot but it's actually kinda low uh, privacy issues junk files internet problems you know, this scans your whole whole computer um, and that's still updating um, and we really can't cover the immunization until that whitelist is created And the final step, it's repairing the disk error. And then where it says stop, it'll say finish. You can share the results or whatever. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, now that's immunized. We can close that out and we're done with SpyBot. Um, for purposes of the video anyway.
Now that CCleaner is open, we want to click on Analyze. Well, first, not what I would do is, um, you know, you can turn any of these on or off. I am going to show you what I choose. I don't want to leave. I don't want to lose my autocomplete form history or saved passwords, so I leave that unchecked. Network passwords. This here, I'm going to check all of them. Hit the Windows symbol. And then hit it again, that way it highlights all of them. Um, this the same way. But then you want to uncheck wipe free space and custom files and folders. And then hit run cleaner. You can analyze first to see how much space you'll be saving. Um, I just don't check that or check that. Don't show me again. Hit OK. OK, the smart defrag finished. So we're going to click defrag and fast optimize. One final step with CCleaner. We want to click on registry. Scan for issues. While we're waiting for CCleaner to finish, I'm going to show you a couple things to also speed up your system. Now, if you're running Windows 7, uh, you'll go to Start and Control Panel. And with um, Windows 7, you want to change some display settings. Ah, uh, shoot. Advanced system settings.
Okay, from Windows 7, you want to do this and go to Settings and turn some of these off. Um, with Windows 8, there's not a whole lot that I turn off. Just um, Peak, I turn off. And then I hit Apply. And with Windows 7, you want to you want to turn off Arrow and some other things there. But you can uncheck one at a time and hit Apply and see the difference. I always change the virtual memory. It'll show you what the recommended is. Um, so you can uncheck that, check custom, and put that number there and hit set. You'll hit OK. And that's it there. Um, now also from, um, you want to go to just open up a folder. go to my computer and you want to right click on your C drive go to properties uh, allow files to be indexed just uncheck that hit apply okay continue and that pop-up that comes up if you want to turn that off ignore all you can do so from your control panel settings control panel and then users user accounts change settings and then you can put on there never notify hit OK and then once that finishes processing uh, you can just hit OK and it's taking forever because I got the hard drive too full and running all these other programs but on CCleaner If you labeled your folder tune-up, then I would create um, tools, but you can take your shortcuts if you want to clean up your desktop. Um, I would, some people leave the advanced system care up so they can see the smiley face, but really you can see it down here and in the taskbar or in the quick launch. Um, check the rest of them. If you hit Control and Alt on your keyboard, um, you can select all those and then left click and drag that into your a new folder called Tools or whatever you want. And then that way they're all there. You don't have to have your desktop full with it. Okay, you want to check Fix Selected Issues. I don't want to back up the registry, but you can if you want. Fix all selected issues. And while that's working, hit, well, that's just about done. Issues fixed, hit close. And you can also use this to uninstall programs but I would use the uninstaller through iobit and okay one final thing hit the window symbol on your keyboard hold it down and hit the letter R type in msconfig this is going to be a little bit different if you're on Windows 8 um, what's different is the startup um, if you're on Windows 7 or anything older all your stuff will be right here 
If you're on Windows 8, you have to click on Open Task Manager. And this shows you all your startup stuff, um, and you can turn off most of it. Like the, anything Adobe, I turn off. Um, Adobe Reader, turn that off. Updater, turn that off. Advanced System Care, I'd leave running Avast. Um, CCleaner, you can turn that off if you don't have the Pro version. Uh, iBeam, that's my phone, I'll leave that on. That's my soft phone. Um, Google Chrome, I'd disable that. It takes a little bit longer to start up, but it's worth it to me. Malware, if I leave that, I can uncheck that. Spybot, I can disable. Switchboard server, I'm not really sure what that's for. I'll leave that in the touchpad. I'll leave that. But then other things you can you can turn off. And then we can close that out. This shows you all your services. You can just hit OK. And actually, if you ever have to boot up in safe mode, uh, as far as I know, with 8.1, they still haven't made it to where you can boot in safe mode without going through here. So you hit boot and you have to check safe mode and then once you fix whatever you need to do in safe mode and you reboot you have to uncheck or when you boot in the safe mode and you fix it you'll have to uncheck that and then um, also the window symbol and the letter R services dot msc And I wasn't um, thinking f the two, I'll put the two um, things on there that you need, the msconfig and services.msc, because I said that kind of fast. I'll make that full screen. Startup type. You can look down at the automatic stuff, and you can turn some some stuff off, like print spooler, you can turn that off. Um, power management, you can turn that off. Uh, indexing, themes task scheduler if you're not using that um, and like spybot if you're not using that after the immunization you can disable those and to do that you double click it change it from automatic to disabled and hit apply and OK and that puts it as disabled the more stuff you turn off just the faster it'll run um, and that's about it there And that's it. By now you should have a fast computer. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Um, or just, you know, comment in this video. I try to keep up with my YouTube account. So if you uh, message me, I'll do my best to get a hold of you fast. If, if I don't, um, don't hold that against me. Just go to support.wvpctech.com and submit a support ticket or reach out on me with uh, Hangouts and it's jnmpcexpert at gmail.com or you can just look up Mark Simmons on um, Hangouts.